it's me, Winnie. So, this morning I decided to show you all how to make a quiche. Um, I actually delivered one to a friend this morning and it just only took me five minutes to assemble. I was like in and out of there. And um, she was so thankful and what a wonderful treat that I decided today to show you guys how to make it because it's really affordable to make, it's easy, and you can make this super healthy if you need to. Okay, so the first and the first thing that I did was raid my refrigerator. Literally, only thing I bought was the pie crust. Um, these are two dollars and seventy nine cents. They come already, uh, you know, pre rolled and pre made. And you just roll it out and you put it into. I got a disposable pan, and then you just press the sides down like this once you put it in there, just to make sure that it sticks to the pan. And that's it. And then pretty much I just picked things that I had out of the refrigerator. There is um, tomatoes in here, uh, ham, just regular ham like you get at the deli for sandwiches. I diced that up. There's diced onions, portobello mushrooms. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Red and orange bell peppers. And there's also fresh cut tomatoes. Um, and as a treat, because my family is not super into being healthy, I just put... <laughs> A few bits of the real bacon bits in there just to give it a little flavor, but you could not add that option if you like. Um, and you can pretty much put anything in here. You could put potatoes and cheese or just tomatoes or just onions, just cheese, just whatever. So after you get all your ingredients, you pile them into the bottom of the pan like this on top of the dough. And then I took four eggs. I mean five eggs. If you have a pan like this, um, I don't know the size, but this is what we usually make it in, and it's a little bit smaller than this pan. I would only make four eggs, um, but I don't feel like washing dishes today, so I would put on a aluminum pan. <laughs> it's Sunday, it's football. Who that to the Saints? So anyway, so I take my eggs, I beat the mixture like this, right? I want them nice and fluffy, don't beat it too much, and I've already added salt and pepper. I don't know, about a half a cup of milk, just depending on how you like it. So I just poured a cup already, but I'm just gonna pour about a half a cup in there. I'm gonna beat this up. And before I do that, key component, cheese. So this is just cheddar cheese. You can use mozzarella. I don't know, my friend tried to use Mexican cheese. Whatever you like, I guess. So I take, and my family's, you know, they're greedy. So we put a lot of cheese like that in the bottom, right? Maybe a little bit more. You don't have to put that much, okay? I don't want people Facebooking me, calling me about ingredients and crazy stuff. And then you just pour this mixture like this over top. I swear, this will be the easiest thing you've ever made. You give it a little twirl, okay? Give it a little shake, right? You wanna shake it like that a little bit so that everything kind of gels together, right? Give it a little twirl. You guys can use a fork, whatever. And then I'm going to add just a little bit more milk, okay? So about a half a cup to a cup. Twirl it like that. Swirl it around. Okay, simple. Bam, boom. Okay? And then, I know, more cheese. Hush. Y'all know I'm from New Orleans. We're going to put a little bit more over the top. And we are done. Look how beautiful that is. Make sure you get a close-up, Brandy. Okay? You can use anything out your refrigerator. Leftover. I don't know, pork chops, I don't know what you want to put in it, but you could, okay? And so, we're going to put this in the oven on 350. I have a convection oven mine set for 340, just because it beats really fast. I'm going to take this, put it in the oven for 350, 40 minutes, and I'm done. Family's going to eat. I'm going to slice in some potatoes and onions to go with it, honey. And we are done for the day. See y'all later. Enjoy. <laughs> 